Hi everyone, my name is Francesca White. I'm the founder and curator of the Beauty Triangle here tonight at Albright, where we're going to be talking about facials to facelifts. All of the little things that we can do to manage and optimize the changes that happen in our faces as time goes by. We're going to be talking tonight about the role and artistry of injectables. And we're also going to be hearing about the latest non-surgical treatments that can pretty much act like a facelift. We're also going to be learning about face exercise and the hands-on techniques that can really give us a sense of control when uh, assessing our faces. Um, I hope you enjoy watching and thanks for being here tonight. Beauty Triangle was uh, set up as a way to educate and empower modern audiences on all aspects of their health and wellness, um, and always importantly from a holistic standpoint. We're trying to take someone, understand the anatomical changes, how someone feels emotionally about their aging, whether it's good or whether it's bad, and fundamentally we, we want to make them feel better. We want to make them look better. That's the ultimate endpoint. The biggest thing I've noticed over the years is prevention and uh, starting early because in the old days when surgery was the only way uh, to fix things, people usually came along in their late 30s, 40s and 50s when you had serious signs of ageing going on. What's happened to me since I started doing the exercises is you know, my, my cheeks, my face has widened a little. I have a better jawline. Um, they're quite subtle differences, but actually when I look back at the before, the first day I trained with Carol, and now there actually is quite a difference. In the right hands or strapped up to the right machine, um, you know, we can really do some good things for our faces and, and keep everything where, they, where it needs to be. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It's been such an interesting evening and what strikes me is how beautifully all of these different approaches overlap, um, whether we're talking about the injectables, the technology or the facial exercises. And I think in really fusing the mechanical with the manual with also the recognition that women's emotional needs need to be met when pursuing facial treatment, that's really how we're going to get really long-term beautiful results and be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Thank you for joining us and hope to see you at our next talk. Bye.